Welcome back. Day two. Excited you decided to join again. Again, five minutes a day to empower you to use money. We learned yesterday that is why you are here today. I want to identify exactly why I'm here. Let me ask you a question. If I slid across the table a $30,000 check, what would you do? Cash money arrives in your bank account tomorrow morning. What is the first thing you would do? I need you to take out some pen and paper and actually write that down. Visualize. Would you go buy something you've been putting off? Would you get a car? Would you move out of your apartment and start looking for a house? What exactly would you do with $30,000? This is how my financial journey began. I was playing in the National Football League, and as a rookie, you start getting handed checks like that. And I'm ashamed to admit it, I spent every dime of that first check I got. Now, now, full disclosure, I bought an engagement ring, my wife and I celebrated 10 years of marriage, so it turned out to be a good investment. But I will tell her this to this day, it was a very poor financial decision. Because what that check woke me up to was the reality, money is not the issue, money is not the problem. The problem is my relationship with money. My problem was how I understood money. I understood money as make money, spend money. Make money, spend money. That's what I did with my first check. But then I started to see some statistics, wake up to the reality of this NFL dream. Only about six or 7% of high school students get to go play collegiate football or sports. Only about 1% get to go from college to become a professional athlete. Of those in the NFL, only about half make it to three years. But of all the NFL players, how many do you think walk out of the locker room with the dream intact? The dream being being able to look at the game for what it's given them and not just for what it's taken. That number is shockingly 30%. 30% of professional athletes walk out of their locker room with the dream still intact. This woke me up. And when I realized I was a part of that 30% spender, spender, I was never creating wealth. I was never capturing the dream. So I went around, big dumb jock. Go down, son, go down. Yeah, go down. Two. Awesome. I was playing football. Maybe if my highly educated brothers, masters of, of engineering at Berkeley, a Harvard law degree, they would know the answers to this riddle of what to do with this money. Turns out they knew less than I did. I wasn't just the, the jock brother who didn't miss a class in college. I, amongst them, and then I started to asking my friends who went and got normal jobs and had great educations as well. I wasn't the only one searching out these answers. It shocked me how few people actually knew what money path they were on. So what we try to do here with your money vehicle is begin to build out that path. My journey, I was awoken to the reality that football was going to provide me a great opportunity, but it didn't mean I was going to capture the true dream. I want to empower you. I understand you're not an NFL player. You're looking at it and saying $30,000 check, never going to happen, bro. That's not my point. My point is if you learn how to empower yourself into using the dollars you do have into making money work for you and stop just working for money, you will begin to be able to capture your dreams as well. That's why I had you write down what your goal was. $30,000, what would you go spend? That is the first stepping stone in your financial path. That is what we're going to begin to do. As I look at these helmets, I get to proudly say I took something out of each of those locker rooms. Most of it was the behaviors that we're going to talk about through this course of watching the best in the world. But I also took away something that each of these teams called, cut me, and told me my dream was over. That I hold dear and dear to my heart because it awoke me to this reality and it alerted me that money was going to be my career forever, not just football, which had a time clock ticking on it. So my challenge to you today, having written down that first objective, we are going to begin to drive your money vehicle and so you can start capturing your freedom. My name is Jedediah Collins. I'll see you tomorrow.